Namaste. This is Supreeta. Uh, today let us see about Yama and Rebirth. Um, many people think that there is some kind of God that governs the cycle of karma and acts as a judge, placing people in such bodies as Yamaraja in Hinduism. The same is also said that Swargas that is heaven and Narakas that is hell exist for the virtuous and wicked for punishment also. Such actually no place in Vedic Dharma and are later creations of imaginative Hindus, especially in the Puranas. Such descriptions are also largely symbolic in nature also and don't refer to such realms and regions as such. Yama relates to Vayu, air or temperature, where the Jivatmas or souls go after the death before reincarnation. Yama also does not refer to a judge, meaning also the innermost self, that is Paramatman, as Brahman, the supreme overseer and judge as such, but in a formless. And silent aspect not as a deva as such as in later times it is also time a known synonym for mrityu that is death of which all living things must be eventually come to and pass as brahman has created the cycle of karma and samsara there is no need as in judeo Christian faiths for any such God sitting on some throne to oversee any actions since all are produced by cause or effect alone. Besides, such is no different than an administrator who does so in his physical world. It is the Brahman that does indirectly dispenses such through his manifested karmic doctrine that automatically does that as the cycle of cause and effect of the cosmos or manifest world. It is the soul alone that is thus bound, not Brahman and attains the pleasures or pains of its past actions which are Swarga meaning Sukha or happiness and Naraka meaning Dukkha or suffering due to these actions that is Karmas out of ignorance that is Avidya. There is thus no heavens or hells in Vedic Hinduism which explains these as such. Only various states of happiness distress etc as per one's previous samskaras created due to their previous actions or karmas. Brahman as the Paramatma pervades the soul as its inner witness alone that watches and thus knows as births. By meditating upon Brahman or the super soul which we can hence gain all knowledge and overcome ignorance such as contemplating such mantras as the Vedic Gayatri in its true meaning which helps is awaken our higher intellectual faculties. In Manu chapter 12 describes that various births are also gained by Sattvic, Rajasic and tamasic levels of actions into bodies of animals, birds, insects, trees to various classes of humans as wicked people as pishachas or rakshasas to kings, priests and such also. Uh, various forms of life are thus imposed upon those who commit grave actions in the modes of tamas and are born in poor families as bacteria that feed off such really things as pus and such 
or as Manoa explains, suffer torments of being scratched by prickling forests, tormented by owls boiled alive and such also. Such horrible things are known to happen to humans on occasion and have nothing to do with health, but rather the results of past karmas that produce these unsavory torments in various births, not in paranormal worlds as many think. Those who also commit murder of several people and such rapists etc are similarly born into such environments where such unusual offerings, sufferings befit them in future births. Others who have pleasant lives as kings, politicians and are just etc are known to be in Swarga. That is in mode of delights, pleasures and thus have had good past karmas. The highest Swarga of course is that of Moksha liberation. Often the Vimana or Rata, the chariots that are described through which one ascends such swargas are actually the subtle and casual bodies that is sushma and karana sharira mentioned as ratha is often to metaphor for the spiritual body or physical body as in the upanishads and even the rigveda it has nothing to do with deities palaces are such or aerial chariots in subtle realms. One can assume births in subtle and casual bodies of course, but such as realms of such planets as Saturn, Sun etc. where gases and fire etc. are about and one must possess a more subtle or casual body for such and dwell there. But does not denote any such spiritual powers and such more spheres of consciousness. Beholding a more subtle aspect of creation, just as one requires to be born as a fish to survive in water on this planet also, such adaptations are also there. Others may assume um, gross bodies on other planets where manifest civilizations exist over realms of consciousness similar to this earth. Uh, so this is all about the Yama, Swarga, Narka, Dahatta, Heaven and Hell and when the birth. So let's meet up in the next video with other topic. Until then, Namaste.